We look back at the royal wedding of Princess Madeline of Sweden and Chris O'Neill. After breaking off her engagement several years earlier, Princess Madeline of Sweden finally found the love of her life when she ran away to New York to heal her broken heart. There, through mutual friends, she met the American-British financier Christopher Chris O'Neill. They first appeared together in public in January 2011, and their relationship might have remained secret longer if a Spanish tourist had not filmed their meeting in a boathouse in Central Park on her mobile phone and sent it to the Swedish media. Their engagement was officially announced on October 25, 2012, after Chris proposed earlier that month in New York after asking her father's permission while in Sweden. Chris asked to remain a private citizen, to maintain his dual American-British citizenship and work in the financial sector. In December it was announced that their wedding was set for June 8, 2013 at the Royal Chapel of Stockholm Palace. The wedding attracted huge media interest, with live coverage broadcast throughout the Nordic countries as well as in Austria, the Netherlands, Belgium, China and Japan. On the eve of the wedding, the princess said, I hope for a beautiful day and beautiful weather, which is probably what all brides hope for. I would be very happy if Stockholm looked its best. Madeline wore a Valentino dress and was accompanied by her father just over halfway to the altar. In Swedish tradition, the bride and groom usually walked to the chapel together, but Madeline followed in the footsteps of her older sister Victoria by having her father walk her partway down the altar before meeting Chris to walk the rest of the way. At the wedding were Chloe and Anais Sommerlath, the bride's maternal cousins, Lily von Horn, Countess Chiara Abensberg und Tron, the groom's niece, Jasper Diabio, the groom's nephew, and Count Louis Cajetan Abensberg und Tron, the groom's nephew. Chris's best man was Cedric Knotts. The wedding reception took place at Drottningholm Palace, but unlike her siblings, it was not broadcast. Before the wedding, Madeline explained the choice of reception, the wedding dinner will be held at Drottningholm Palace, which I am very happy about. Drottningholm Palace means so much to me this is where I was born and raised. She later told Svenska Dagbladet that she wished the speeches of her father, siblings, Chris and his sister at her wedding reception had been televised because they, they were so emotional and sweet. Photos later showed the couple's wedding cake, which consisted of 700 macarons in the shape of a pyramid. Foreign royals in attendance included Crown Prince Frederick, Crown Princess Mary, Princess Benedicta, Princess Mary and Prince Joachim of Denmark, Princess of Monaco, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, then Earl and Countess of Wessex, Crown Prince Haakon, Crown Princess Metamart and Princess Martha Louise, and then husband Ari Ben, of Norway, and hereditary Grand Duke and Grand Duchess of Luxembourg. Chris did not obtain a title or Swedish citizenship in accordance with his desire to remain a private citizen. Thus, he retained his dual U.S.-British citizenship and continued to work in the financial sector. Three months after the wedding, it was announced that Madeline was expecting her first child. At the time, the family lived in New York. Princess Leonora was born on February 20, 2014. Their second child, Prince Nicholas, was born just over a year later in Stockholm on June 15, 2015. On March 9, 2018, their third child, Princess Adrienne, was born in Stockholm. The family will move to Sweden from Florida this fall.